Alright. This... I would say that on my channel this run will be the Super Metroid run of all Super Metroid runs. The last Metroid is in captivity. It also the covers reality. probably one of the most extreme categories for Super Metroid. It complete opposite spe er, end of the spectrum of the 100% run. This is a 15% run. Now I know that you're thinking, wait, aren't there 14% runs? Well, um, I didn't feel that I was capable of doing a 14% run. Um, mainly because, like, all of my runs on my channel are any percents with the uh, cheat assisted and 100 percents kind of not included in that. Um, so I'm really used to the uh, any percent item collections that I usually get. Um, and I like to shine spark and there's no way in real time Realistically speaking, that I could uh, go to uh, um, go through the trouble of uh, bringing the blue suit to Mother Brain's room. Because trust me, that's something that probably won't it. It just doesn't happen, because, yeah. Especially if Dragon's your third boss instead of your last one. The nice thing about the 15% uh, is that uh, any of your, or er, the boss order can go in any order so long as you don't collect more than 15% items. So, in reality, I probably could have even done Fantoon first, then Ridley third. But, I, I, I like living, and as much fun as Super Metroid is, I would never do that to myself. Again, I should say. <laughs> Because there was that uh, TAS route 15% that I, or not 15%, 48% that I did. Yeah, not fun. So, anyways, 15%. That I've chosen is uh, instead of the uh, extra ammo, 15% that I think uh, Kajardin's guide details about. Um, I opted for a 14% uh, ice beam and 14% speed booster hybrid. I have the same ammo amount as the 14% uh, but instead of just collecting either the ice beam or either the speed booster I decide to collect them both. It does speed things up a little and allows for some speed tricks to remain intact without having to uh, not exhort to extreme TAS to do. Because, gee, doesn't that sound wonderful? This is a very difficult game to play through on Marines, but I'm pretty sure of it. As 
right now we're on our way to the first of 15 items collected. The Morph Ball. And then of course after the Morph Ball, the missiles, and then after the missiles, the uh, bombs. And after the bombs is the first of three energy tanks. And then first of three super missile packs. And then the second of three super missile packs, the charge beam. And then don't pick up anything until after Crave, and that's the second energy tank. And then Go to, uh, Norfair. Get the Ice Beam, then the Speed Booster. Oh wait, we collect early Power Bombs. Forgot about that. third energy tank doesn't get picked up until after Bop. Um, obviously the very ungravity suits are collected after their respective bosses. Oh, the right um, yeah. I think that energy tank in uh, Yeah, the energy tank before Dragon might be the last item collected. Oh, now autoplay comes up. was taking a long time to actually recognize that my flash drive was plugged in for autoplay to come up. Um, see, I recently managed to get Dolphin to work, and even though uh, there hasn't been anything done, I, I believe that that would be uh, TAS Video's choice for uh, uh, GameCube recording emulator. Or at least it was last time I checked. Um, I also heard from them that there's uh, like desync issues and the fact that my disk drive does not read uh, Wii or GameCube games. So, tough luck for a while. I also need to find a uh, ISO or WAD file that will run uh, perfectly, which chances are is going to end up being like Super Smash Brothers Melee. But I did find something that I would be interested in making a run of. But. I suppose it depends on how long I'm willing to wait for it to download. So, there's some exciting news for you. Um, if you do decide to try running Dolphin, I suggest actually getting the emulator from the uh, official Dolphin site. And, um, you'll probably have to update your DirectX and